Hi, today we are going to solve a question from the topic cyclic quadrilateral in a circle. Now you can see that in this circle there are a lot of lines along with two given angles 12 degrees and 138 degrees and a tangent AF. Now always remember that tangent is a line that touches the circle at one point at the circumference. In the A part, we are asked to find angle EAD. Now, angle EAD is this, marked with this red color, and I name it by angle theta. Now, you should always remember that the line from the center to the circumference of the circle is radius. So, OE is also a radius, OA is radius, and OD is also radius. It means that you have been given with three radii and always remember that whenever you have been given with two or more than two radii within a circle in that question there must be an isosceles triangle associated with these two radii. Therefore this is an isosceles triangle named OEA. And whenever there is an isosceles triangle it means that you have to use some of the properties of isosceles triangle. Now, the most popular property of an isosceles triangle is this. The base angles of an isosceles triangle are always equal. Therefore, if angle OAE is theta, then angle OEA is also theta and it covers both of these angles. So this total angle is theta. Now in order to find this angle theta, we must know that what is angle over here, AOE. Now this angle is very easy to find. We can find it in this way that the sum of the angles on a straight line is always 180 degrees. Therefore, if we mark this angle, with x we can easily find it by doing x plus 138 degrees is equal to 180 degrees x is equal to 180 degrees minus 138 degrees and hence we get x is equal to 42 degrees now, by using the property of the triangle that sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, we get, so by solving this equation, theta plus theta plus x is equal to 180 degrees, we put the value of x which we have already found, it is 42 degrees, so we put it over here instead of x and after solving, we get theta is equal to 69 degrees since we had supposed theta in place of angle EAD. Therefore, angle EAD is equal to 69 degrees. Now, in the second part of the question, we have to find angle EAF. Angle EAF is this angle EA which is being made with this tangent. EAF. So we mark this angle with Y that we have to find. Now there is a property of tangent that you should remember and this property states a tangent makes an angle of 90 degrees with the radius of the circle. Now this being the radius of the circle this tangent AF makes an angle of 90, 90 degrees over here. So, we can write that theta plus y is equal to 90 degrees. We already have found theta in the previous part which was 69 degrees. Hence, we get angle y is equal to 21 degrees which is equal to angle EAF which we needed to find. Now, in order to find angle BEA, this is angle BEA marked by Z. In the first part, 
we have already found angle theta which is 69 degrees but since we need angle BEA which is marked with C so what we have to do is we can do like this Z plus 12 is equal to theta or in other words you can say that we can find it by 69 minus 12 degrees is equal to Z so I will write it like this By putting the value of theta over here, which was 69 degrees, we have found Z. Or, you can find it like this, that Z is equal to, this whole angle theta is 69 degrees. And we are subtracting, leaving this part of the angle, which is 12 degrees. So, we will subtract it from 69 and hence we get 57 degrees. In part D, we have to find angle BCD. This is angle BCD marked with this red color and I name it, um, let's say we can mark it with 5. So we have to find phi in this part. Now I'm going to mark all those things that we have already discussed in this question. Now, finding this angle phi seems to be very tricky, but in fact, it is as easy as it seems to be. Duh. As I told you before, that whenever you have been given with more than two radii within a circle, you should be very much alert that there must be some isosceles triangles. Now, we have already discussed triangle OEA being an isosceles triangle. So, now you should notice that why these two radii are here and what is their job. So, I am going to solve this question in a really easy manner. I have drawn a line DE with red color which again makes this triangle OED as an isosceles triangle. So again, we can use the same property over here that this angle M and M, these two are base angles of this isosceles triangle ODE. So they must be equal. Now we can easily find this angle M by using the property of the triangle that inner angles of a triangle sum to 180 degrees. Hence, by virtue of this property of an isosceles triangle, I have solved this equation to find M which is equal to 21 degrees. Since we need to find the angle BCD which is marked by 5, so now you should identify that there is a quadrilateral within the circle touching four of its points at the circumference of the circle. So it is called a cyclic quadrilateral. So in this DE, BC, DE is a cyclic quadrilateral and I am going to highlight it so that you can easily see it. Now this highlighted quadrilateral is BC, DE, cyclic quadrilateral. And we have its property that some of the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees. So now we can easily find this angle phi because in this cyclic quadrilateral the opposite angle to phi is this 21 plus 12 degrees. Therefore we can write by writing angle BCD plus angle DEB is equal to 180. Now angle D E B is comprised of 12 degree plus 21 degrees. Therefore I put the value of angle D E B as 21 degrees plus 12 degrees. Taking both of the angles to the other side and subtracting we get 147 degrees. So this is finally the solution of our question. You were watching question number 13 summer 2019 
पेपर वन वेरियंट वन कोड टू जीरो टू फोर मैथमेटिक्स दिस वॉज मैथमेटिक्स विद मिस सुम्बल एंड एट द एंड आई वॉन्ट एडवाइज यू दैट पॉज दिस वीडियो बिफोर एंडिंग इट एंड जस्ट राइट डाउन की पॉइंट्स इन योर नोट बुक दैट हाउ कैन यू यूज वॉट डिफरेंट की पॉइंट्स यू कैन यूज टू सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन इन अ सर्कल especially about cyclic quadrilateral see you